welcome to Caston High School for tonight's varsity game. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to tonight's RTC TV4 broadcast coming to you live from Caston High School where your lady comments are hosting the Peru Lady Tigers. I'm Blair Zimmerman, soon to be joined on the other headset by Pete Duvall. We, uh, we had a bit of a mad scramble here getting us set up, uh, but we are ready to broadcast. A little bit of clunking here. Well, good evening, Pete. Welcome to tonight's broadcast. That's a great, another great night for girls basketball here at the uh, launching pad. And uh, again, I was telling the people at home, we ended up with a bit of a mad scramble getting stuff set up. And then uh, the, the game started a few minutes early here. Uh, now, Pete, you had an opportunity to sit in on the JV game. When I stepped out at about halftime, the Lady Comets were ahead. How did that one end up? Uh, the Lady Comets ended up winning 22 to 14, I believe. Fantastic, and of course the Varsity Comets coming into tonight with a 2 and 0 record. They're going to be looking to uh, maintain that winning streak here on the home court. So, uh, and again, it's a little early in the season for um, for any kind of previews and stuff. Wait, Pete's saying no. Uh, I looked at John Harrell right before. Uh, the JV game started, or during the JV game, and they do have a prediction out for tonight's game. All right, well, you're uh, you're a bit better informed than I did. I, I'll be honest, I didn't look, because typically it's uh, not until after a week or two that we start getting predictions. Right now, John Harrell's prediction for tonight's game is a 58 to 31 cast and victory. That's a wide margin. We'll have to see how that winds up for the ladies. And tip goes to the Lady Comets. Zeppelman looks to drive, she'll kick it to scale. Scales with a jumper and she'll put it in from the elbow. Comet strike first, two nothing. Douglas with a tip on that pass. Lady Comet's playing tough defense right now. There's another trap at the top. Macy Hinderleiter's gonna steal that one. We got Zempelman back to Hinderleiter. Cross court to Douglas. Douglas to Hinderleiter. Zempelman. She'll drive. Need some help here. Douglas coming in for some help. Pass a little wild. Hinderleiter will pick it up though. Good save there by Macy Hinderleiter. Great ball work by the Comets. And now Zempelman for a three just off the mark. Lady Tigers bringing it back. Mason, near side, pass into the post. Shot up and off the mark. Zimpleman's gonna come down with the rebound. We're gonna get a blocking foul here, no shot. Foul there is on number 23, Addison Robbins. Her first, team first, and that dubious honor game first. And once again, if it's your first game you're catching of the 23-24 season, uh, there's a new rule on the season uh, that team fouls head to five per quarter, and at that point, it's an immediate double bonus. Fouls will reset every quarter. And over the back there. Hendra Leiter tried to go for that little floater. She uh, didn't get it in and went over the top for the rebound. We're gonna get Addison Robbins bringing the ball up for the Lady Tigers. Mariana Mason near side. Back to Robbins. Mason. And I am fairly certain Addison Robbins is a cousin to cast and grabbler Jackson Robbins. Shot made by Kayleen Kirk. Now Robbins gonna put a little pressure on. Gonna drop out of it real quick. 
Lady Tigers running man to man. Pass down on the post to Zemplin on the back door cut and she'll get fouled as she goes up for the shot. Great cut there by Addison Zemplin. Great job by Douglas seeing the lane. That was a textbook free throw if I've ever seen one. Hear the swish on that one up here. Second one barely moved the net. Robbins bringing the ball up for the Lady Tigers. Goes into the two-man trap, gets the ball passed away, and they're over the timeline. Lady Tigers really struggling to get the ball anywhere. Now they're gonna work. Mason's gonna drive, kick out to Robbins. Robbins for three. That's gonna be in and out. Rebound. Shot. Fight for the rebound. Hitter light is gonna come out down with it after a Brooklyn Garner miss. Scales working. She's gonna pass out to Finky. Hitter lighter, top of the key. Scales, shot fake, drives. She's gonna go up. She's gonna get fouled by Mason. And they're gonna say that foul happened on the floor. Foul number 24, Mariana Mason, her first team third. I feel like she was transitioning a shot for him, but. Well, I was surprised he didn't blow the whistle earlier if that was the case. He kind of waited until that shot fell down. Now scales a drive though, she'll put it up and off the mark. Here a rebound by number three, Malin Dunn. Robbins knows the trap is there, kicks it to Mason. Mason drives, kicks to Robbins. Dunn drives, hook shot goes up and that's gonna be a foul. Shooting foul there on Macy Hinderleiter, her second, team second. Malia Dunn on the line for two. First free throw of the night for the Lady Tigers falls. Annie, Annie. Oh, go ahead. Annie Harsh enters for the Lady Comets as Dunn lines up for her second. And she'll make that one. Not sure about that shot for him, Pete, but you can't argue with the results. No, as long as it goes in the hoop, you can't can't be mad. 4-4 four, four tie as we head with 4.30 in the left in the first and scales for three off the mark. Ball's tipped. That's gonna be an over and back on Madison Douglas as she just touched it before she went over the line and then kept going over the line. Here comes Robbins to Mason. Ooh, that looked like a double dribble, Pete. Maybe even a triple. Ooh, now we got a travel. Garner moved her foot right before she took that dribble. Zimpleman bringing the ball for the Lady Comets. Douglas, Finky, near corner. Shot fake, she drives. She's gonna put it up off the mark. It's gonna be out of bounds off of Brooklyn Garner. Finky will inbound the ball. Skip pass into Scales. Harsh, Finky, Shafe, she'll get called for a travel. Took that shot fake and both feet must have left the ground. <laughs> Get too far into it, you need to just commit to the shot. Robin, Garner near side, scales all over. Scales is gonna volleyball spike that one down out of bounds. Looked like she was trying to knock it out off of Garner, but pushed it more forward than she did back. So much athleticism there. You've gotta be careful that you don't get called over the back. Scales has the verticality, she gets away with that one. 
Mason really working against Douglas. And that's going to be a wild pass, and Robbins can't handle it and be Lady Comets basketball. This tight defense worked so well for the Lady Comets Saturday against Rochester. Uh, I think that they've got the athleticism and the endurance on the on the bench this season to really keep up heavy pressure and man-to-man -man or pseudo man-to-man -man in their zone. Yeah. None of the none of the players that played for the Lady Comets so far this year are not able to do that. That's going to be out of bounds off of Annie Harsh as she goes for the rebound off of the uh, floater missed by Maddie Douglas. Yeah, these 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 girls are so athletic, and with the addition of Madison Douglas, it it just adds that much more to their lineup. Now Robbins working in the zone with Mason for three. That's going to be just off the mark. Scales with the rebound. Scales, drives, kicks. Douglas for three. Way off the mark. Now we're going to get out of bounds off of Annie Harsh as she secures the rebound. But her foot was out. Hinderleiter back in for the Comets. Fresh set of legs. Going to give Madison Douglas a break. Robbins, Mason, near wing. Robbins, Robbins for three. That one's off the mark. Annie Harsh with the rebound. She'll rip it out and give it to Zempelman. Zempelman's going to drive. Kick back out to Harsh. Harsh for three. That one's off the mark. Robbins picks up the rebound. Zempelman's all over it. It's going to be a jump ball. Possession arrow with the Lady Tigers. Pioneer crowd, or Pioneer, excuse me. Same colors, wrong team. Peru crowd looking for the foul on that jump ball. I don't even know if you can say they're the same color. I think Pioneer is more of a... More of a yellow brighter, gold. Brighter, yeah. yeah. Okay, but similar, similar. Anyway. Trap. Zimpleman's going to get a hand on that pass, and she'll take it down for a left-handed layup, breaking the 4-4 tie that we've had for the past three minutes. And we're under two minutes left in the first. Has to Garner down low. She'll put it up. She'll be off the mark. Zimpleman's going to save it. Tigers remain possession, and Robbins for three off the mark. Scales with the rebound. She's going to pull up. Oh, a little... Jump shot off the mark. Hinderleiter with the rebound. Thomas is there. Zimpleman for three. That one's in. First three make of the night for either team. Now we're going to get a timeout here by Coach Jenna Hayes. 30 second timeout, but we're going to go ahead and step away and thank our sponsors. You're watching Lady Comets Basketball here on RTC. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. 1-10 left to play here in the first. Comets with a five-point advantage. And those five points racked up very quickly here in the last handful of seconds. Yeah, it was 4-4 with a minute 44 to go. Lady Comets get a couple, get a steal, layup, and a three. Now Robin's going to work against this 2-1-2 zone. That ball is going to be... Knocked out of bounds off the Lady Comets. Lady Tigers remain possession. Robbins inbound to Mason. Mason's going to drive. She'll put that one up for two and just off the back of the rim. Lady Tigers can't seem to get any luck down there. Thomas with the shot, that's off the mark. Scales coming in hard. Now it's gonna be a foul on Macy Henderleiter as Kayleen Kirk goes up for that one. I mean, good job on the senior to uh, break that play, but unfortunately that's her third foul and the team's third foul. Yeah, if she keep, well, 
I wouldn't expect to see her much here in the second quarter as we enter into it with 38 to go. Uh, three fouls in the first quarter, that's it's gonna be tough to play with. Yeah, there's not a lot of wiggle room left in that. Kirk's second free throw is good, breaking the scoring drought for the Lady Tigers. Madison Douglas back in for the comments. Zempelman picks up her dribble, gives it to Harsh down low. Thomas loses the ball. And we got Douglas. Douglas. 16 on the clock. Zempelman for three. That was just off the mark, a little bit shallow. Now the Lady Tigers are going to have a chance to score right before the end of the quarter. Pass out of bounds, though. Lady Thomas gets the ball with three to go. Pass just out of the reach of Dunn's hands. Scales quickly across Scales the timeline. From the volleyball line, it's good. Well, that's how you close out a quarter. All right, at the end of one, it's cast in 12, Peru five. Come back for second quarter action after these words from our sponsors here on RTC TV. Isabel Scale ending the first quarter with a three from the volleyball line for the only the second three made of the night. And that was only her, her second score of the night. Yeah, Scales now though with five of the Comets, 12. Lady Comets will start with it to start the second. Douglas is passed down into the post. We're gonna get a foul beforehand. Foul there on number two, Kaylin, Kaylin Kirk, her second, team first here in the quarter. And uh, Peyton Weidman in for the Lady Tigers. Pass into the post to Thomas. Now Douglas with a deep two, just off the mark. Scales with the rebound though, she'll put it up that one's gonna roll out. Now Lady Tigers bringing it up quick. Pass down into number three, Malaya Dunn. Couldn't hold on to it. Goes out off of the ref's foot. Scales will bring it up. Douglas Zimpleman. Scales, shot fake. She's gonna take a dribble to her right, hit a deep, deep two. Her right foot was just over the line. Now, Robbins working against the Comets. Passes over to Mason. Garner down low. Douglas rips it out of her hands. She's just like, I'll take that. Now Douglas. I'm gonna draw a foul. Looked like she almost tripped over her own feet. That was on 32, Peyton Weidman, her first, team second. Foul number 32, Peyton Weidman. Her first, team second. Number 12, Sydney Asbell enters the game. Lob pass into Scales. Harsh, shot fake, drives, kicks the Zempelman down low, and she'll put it up for two. Robbins making sure she gets over the timeline. Lob pass tipped by Scales. Harsh down into Zempelman. Cross court pass to Douglas. Douglas thought about it. Passes to Scales. Scales is going to. Drive, kick to Douglas. Douglas drives. She's going to get the ball knocked out of her hands by Robbins. Great defense there by Robbins to steal that one. Garner down low for two. Just off the mark. Zimpleman will get the rebound. The Lady Tigers' defense of the Lady Comets paint is really impenetrable. Scale the shot off the mark. Zimpleman gets the rebound, though. She puts it up, and that's off the mark. Scales will get that rebound and she'll go up 
Giff fouled as she shoots for two. Foul here on number 30, Brooklyn Garner. Her first, team third. First one up and in by Isabel. Another textbook free throw by the Lady Comets. Senior will go two for two. Mason with a jumper from about the elbow. It's gonna break the Lady Tigers scoring drought once again. Pass down into the post to Zimpleman. Can't hang on to it. Lady Tigers come out with it. Great hustle by Peyton Weidman to get that one. Scales is gonna do knock down the pass by Mariana Mason. This is the second time that we've had a ball head out of bounds and hit a referee on the way. And I think that makes two times that I've seen that in the whole time I've been broadcasting. Maybe the lady comments are targeting him. Let's not put that out there. It's hard enough to get officials anyway. Nice shot fake there. Oh, shot just off the mark. Garner couldn't get it in. Great defense by the lady comments. Scale drives. She'll kick out to Doug Douglas for three. That one's off the mark, and I think he's going to go over the back. Very clear there. She didn't really go up at all. She just kind of went forward. Well, that's her first, team first. And Thomas in for the Comets. Gatliff in for the Tigers. One three one zone here by the Comets. Pass tipped by Zempelman. <laughs> and then she turned around and grabbed it on the way down. She'll go coast to coast with it, put it in left for two. Left handed. Came from the right side, took it all the way to the left. Lady Tigers struggling against this one three one. That pass is gonna be tipped off of Gatliff's shoe and Mason's gonna save it, but Lady Comet's gonna get possession back anyways. Now yeah, there's gonna be a foul. I don't know who they're gonna put that on. Because there were two possibilities. They're putting it on number 12, Sydney Asbell, her first, team fourth. Number three, Malaya Dunn, and number 22, Madison Douglas enter for both teams. And with half of the quarter left to go, Next Tigers foul will put the Comets into the double bonus. Finky gets the inbound. Show it to Harsh. Thomas, near side. She'll skip pass over to Scales. Scales will look to drive. She'll put up a little floater off the mark. But Douglas gets the rebound. Now Harsh, Finky, Thomas. Skip pass to Douglas. Douglas. To Harsh, Harsh for three. That one's gonna be banked in. Looking at it from up here, I thought it was gonna be wide left, but she put enough on it to bank it in. Dunn's gonna pass it down low. Douglas is gonna get a hand in on that pass, but she'll fall out of bounds with it. I'm amazed that was not a blocking foul on Thomas. There was a lot of contact there before that pass happened. Inbound lob to Mason. Dunn, Robbins. Back to Mason. Mason's gonna drive. Kick to Gatliff. Gatliff shot fake. Puts a shot up and that'll be in for two. Great work by Gatliff. Getting the Lady Comets to move just a little bit. Creating that open shot lane. Now Douglas, Finky, Scales. Pass down into Thomas. She's gonna get blocked by Madeline Gatliff. 
She may have been a little too far under the basket there for a good shot. Scales rips it out of Weidman's hands and she'll put it up for two and that'll fall in. And we're gonna get a foul there. Yeah. Annie Harsh picks up her first. Team second. Zumpelman and Dunn in for the Comets and Tigers, respectively. Robbins facing this trapping Comets defense. Scales will get her hands on that pass as they try to get it back to Robbins. She'll pull up from just behind the free throw line, just off the mark. Zimpleman with the rebound though, and she'll get fouled as she goes up. That'll be the Lady Tigers' fifth foul. Any fouls from here on out, it's gonna be two shots no matter what. First one up and in. Second one good. Can't argue with two for two. Robbins bringing it down quick. Weidman, or Gatliff, sorry. Gatliff's pass is going to be kicked out of bounds off of the Comets. Lob pass in, Scales, a little contact down there. She'll get a hand on that pass. We're gonna get a 30 second timeout here by Coach Douglas to save the possession. Great awareness there by Coach Douglas. Uh, we've, seen, we've seen times where coaches just aren't quite quick enough to call that or there's not quite enough possession for the referees to be happy with it. Um, Great work by Isabel Scales, getting her hand on the pass and then getting on the ball. Just the athleticism from this Comets team is hard uh, to beat. And the way that Scales and Zimpleman, well, Scales, Zimpleman, and Douglas, really, uh, the way that they're able to get up into these corners and trap the Lady Tigers, uh, even when it doesn't become a full-on count-out trap, uh, it's causing enough disruption into the passes that they've been able to force quite a few turnovers. I think a lot of it helps that, you know, four four out of the five girls on the floor right now have played together since forever. I mean, they've played for, together for forever. They have that chemistry that allows them to know what the others are thinking. And many of them play together in multiple seasons. Yeah. Now we're going to get a foul here on the floor. But that'll send Zimpleman to the line for two. Foul here is on number 23, Addison Robbins. Her second, team sixth. First one's good again. Didn't even need the rim on that one. Two for two. Textbook. Mason gets trapped. Zimpleman just late getting down there. Dunn, Robbins. Back to Dunn. Dunn. Pass, little high. Gatliff couldn't get her hands on it. Now Zimpleman will bring it up with a minute 17 to go here in the first half. Lady Comets lead 29 to nine. Scales near wing. Hands it off to Douglas. Cross court passes. Harsh, harsh for three. That That's one's good. in.
You know, Douglas may not be having the greatest shooting night of her career so far, but she has been really good at getting the other ladies open, and they're having a phenomenal time out here tonight. As Dunn shoots a little shot from about 13 out, and Gatliff ties up with Scales. Tiger's going to retain possession. Mason in the corner for three. Left-handed shot just doesn't fall. Harsh is going to bring it up quick. Douglas drives, kicks. Harsh for three. That one's off the mark. Robbins going to get the ball. 15, done, deep two. That one's just off the mark. Gatliff's going to come down with it. Now she's trapped. Shot up. Good basket made by Brooklyn Garner. Two seconds to go. Scales a little deeper, just off the mark. A little too much power on that one. And at the end of two, it's Comets 32, Tigers 11. We'll be back after a few words with our from our sponsors with some first half stats. You're watching Lady Comets basketball here on RTC. Comets. Once again, starting a quarter with possession. Scales gives it to Hinderleiter. Couple of handoffs here to start and continue it. Screened by Finky. Pass down low to Finky. A little bit of pick and roll. She's, foul, yeah. she's gonna get that foul called. Pretty quick foul. Foul right. here on 24, Mar Mariana Mason, her second. Team's first. Not even 20 seconds into the quarter, and we got a first foul. First free throw, a little off the mark. Couldn't Can't get that roll on the second one. Kind of thought she was going to get that lucky bounce, but. Yeah. Robinson. Crosses over, passes to Mason who jumped over right before. It's gonna be over and back, Comets ball. One of the many great things about those corner traps at the half court line. Hander Leiter on the far side. Scales near wing, thought about the three. She's gonna drive a little Fading floater, it's gonna fall in. It's a tough shot right there. Not only was she fading, but it was on the corner. That's gonna be a trap down there. We're gonna get. It's a 30 second timeout, what? Oh, I think the official I, thought she was. I yeah, I think I think the coach was saying something. The official thought it was a timeout, and uh, that corner trap probably helped the comments to be honest, because it looked like Maddie Douglas got her hand back there. I thought maybe she was going to get called for a foul, but that's going to be Kayleen Kirk with another basket here for the Lady Tigers. Scales fires that pass super hard. Douglas nearly lost it. She managed to turn around and get a hold of it again. Zimpleman for three. That ah, one looks off the mark. Be just off the mark. Didn't want to speak too early. Last time I would have, it would have been wrong, but <laughs> yeah. Zimpleman's going to go out of bounds trying to save it. And Lady Tigers will have the ball. Robinson. Sorry. Robbins bringing the ball up. Kayleen Kirk down low. She's going to draw the foul from Madison Zimpleman as she goes up for the shot. That'll be Zimpleman's first, team first. Kirk went one for two last time she was at the line. Missed the first one. 
Quick release there by Kirk. Just Second like again. last time, missed the first, made the second. Zempelman working against Robbins. She got to pass it down low to Scales. Scales pulls that one down. Hinderleiter goes up, misses that shot, and we're going to get Addison Zempelman over the back. Hinderleiter, who sat out the whole second quarter due to her three fouls. She's going to have to play it smart here in the third and fourth quarter. Zempelman picks up her second there. Robbins. Pass down to Dunn. Dunn's going to lose it. Scales will pick it up. Scales pass down to Hinderleiter. Gets tipped, and Hinderleiter's going to back down, but she's going to walk with it. I think Hinderleiter thought Robbins was going to give her a little resistance, and Robbins just kind of stepped away. Smart play there. Dunn in the corner. She'll skip past the Robins. Now Garner. Wide Zimple. open, can't quite hit that. Zempelman pulls down the rebound. And that scales in the corner. She'll drive baseline, she'll go up with it. She gets a tip, she'll go up with it again and she'll get fouled that time. Foul there on number two, Kayleen Kirk, her third, team second. Good work by Kirk on that first shot, going straight up, not giving Scales the chance, but then that second one just brought her hands down. That'll get called almost every time. Scales with a rare missed free throw. Second Doesn't let it perfect, happen twice, though. yeah. It's that rule of two. Bounce pass to Mason. Now Dunn. Dunn's going to drive. She's going to go for a little hook shot, but she's going to draw the foul on Zempelman as oh, Zempelman brings her hands down. That's Zempelman's third. Foul number 13, Addison Zempelman, her third. From here, that looked like all ball, but... Obviously, the officials have a lot closer view than we do. I saw Harsh queuing up. First shot drops for Mo uh, Malia Dunn. Harsh will enter for Zeppelman, giving her a little bit of break with those three fouls. Second free throws in. Done 100% from the free throw line here tonight. Scales working against Mason. Hinderleiter, far side. Cross court pass to Scales. Thought, I thought Isabel was going for that three. I did too. She'll pass it to Hinderleiter though. We'll give it to Douglas. Douglas will drive. She's going to get fouled on the floor. It's on number three, Malia Dunn, her first. Team third. Harsh to inbound. She'll kick it to Scales. Scales for three. That one's in. Another basket by Isabel Scales. Great inbounds play there to make that happen. Cross court pass to Mason. And that was the right combination across that timeline there. <laughs> Passer is, uh, you know, on the other side. Scales gets the hands on that pass, and now she'll steal it. She'll go up, put that layup up for two. Comets dropping out of that 1-3-1. One, one. Now they're in a 2-3. Mason for three. Off Just the off the mark. Hinderleiter's going to pull down the rebound. Scales will bring it up. Slowing the game down right here. Finky almost mishand mishandled it, but almost lost it. Now she saves it. 
Scales pass into Hinderleiter. Hinderleiter will drive. She'll put that one in for two. We're gonna get a full timeout here from Peru's head coach, Jenna Hayes. All right, and with that, we're gonna step away and say thank you to our sponsors. And we thank you, our viewers, for watching Lady Comets basketball here. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Three and a half minutes here in the third. Lady Comets with a 26-point advantage, 42 to 16. Peru getting a chance to work against the Comets 2-3 zone. Hinderleiter gets a hand on that pass. Kayleen Kirk, Madison Douglas fighting for it. Hinderleiter will steal it. She'll go up, lay that one up right-handed, and that one's good for two. A little surprised there wasn't a jump ball called on that. They jump ball or a foul. Douglas kind of went down hard going for that ball. Robbins for three. And Harsh will come down with the rebound. Lady Tigers' three-point scoring drought continues. Scales to Douglas. Pass it back to Scales. Scales for three from the corner. That one's good. Israel Scales is on fire right now. 47-16. Comments lead with 2.30 to go in the third quarter. Kirk for three. Just off the mark. Madison Douglas to come back down with that rebound. She's going to kick it back out to Scales. Scales, a little jumper there off the mark, and that's going to be out of bounds off of Addison Robbins. Addison Zempelman back in for the Comets as well as Peyton Weidman for the Tigers. And now number 15, Katie Hutzel enters the game. I think she's the, this is the first time she's been on the floor all year for the Lady Comets. Madeline Gatliff back in for the Tigers. Lob pass into Scales. Zempelman working down there on the paint. She gets open and puts that one in for two. Great work in the post down there by Zimpleman. Now Mason for three. That one's in and out. Lady Tiger is just unlucky on the rim tonight. Dunn for three. That one's in. Lady Comets lead by 30 now, 49-19. Minute 45 to go in the third. Zimpleman working against Robbins. Harsh near wing. Thomas, she'll take it all the way to the other side. She'll drive baseline, pick it up, give it to Hutzel. Hutzel gives it to Harsh. Harsh gonna bring it out, reset the offense. Harsh almost losing it, gives it to Zimpleman. Zimpleman almost, Scales almost got open on back door cut. Now Scales will give it to Hutzel. Hutzel Pass it, Zimpleman's knees. Deep two by Thomas off the mark. Scales with the rebound. Scales mm. drives minute. baseline. She'll put it up for two and she'll get called. She'll get the foul called. Foul here going on number 23, foul Addison three. Robbins, her third. Team fourth. Team fourth. First one's good for Scales. Obviously, next foul is going to have the Comets shooting for two no matter what, but I don't know with a minute left if we'll see that one. We might, as aggressive as both teams have been this quarter. Second free throw is good for Scales. Robbins. Pass down to Weidman. Pass back out to Robbins. Dunn, far side, she'll drive. Hutzel will take that one out of her hands, but she'll get called for a travel. Couldn't quite get her footing. She'll walk with the ball there. Yeah, there was a lot of contact body to body as she got possession of that. Little wonder she stumbled with it. Zimpleman just missed that. Now that'll be a foul as Dunn goes up for the shot out on the inbounds. Foul there on Caitlin Hutzel, her first, team fourth. Leah Dunn, 100% from the line here tonight. 
Off the front iron. Had to give her the announcer's curse there. I've never claimed I'm not biased, Pete. Second one didn't even touch rim. That's this curse really working a lot right there. I don't think I can claim anything for that second one. That, you, we didn't say anything. She... All right, Harsh bringing the ball across the timeline with just under 30 seconds left in the third. Scales near side. She'll drive baseline. She... How was that not a foul? It's been all ball down there. Now Thomas for three off the mark. Scales gets the rebound. She'll kick it back out. Thomas loses the ball. She'll get called for over and back. Dribble it off of her thigh. And 11 seconds. Now we're under the 10 second mark. Lady Tigers probably gonna look for the last shot of the quarter here. Mason's gonna get that one stolen as she tries to go up. And Lady Comets will end the third, 51-19. All right, well, come back after these words from our sponsors for fourth quarter action. You're watching Lady Comets basketball here on RTC. Hello, sir. How can I help you today? I'm looking for a special gift. We have no tolerance for tomfoolery today. What do you mean, tomfoolery? What I said was, we have a nice selection of jewelry today. Oh. May I suggest that you give my friends at Affordable Hearing a call? Affordable Hearing offers hearing testing and unique solutions for everybody. We guarantee the lowest prices in the area and now have offices in Rochester and Logansport to serve you better. Call to book an appointment today. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're heading into the fourth ball, or fourth ball, fourth quarter. Peru will start with possession of the ball. That's what we're trying to do. Words are hard, Pete. Yeah. I'm not going to disagree with you on that. Especially as I'm old and it's past my bedtime. <laughs> Definitely feels a lot later with the time change. Ball is going to be out off of Mason as it gets swatted off of her leg. And that goes back to that props to the freshman, Madison Douglas, able to force that bobble. Douglas, she's gonna pass the scales. Scales for three. That one's just off the mark. It's gonna be out off of Finky. Lady Tigers ball. Mason near side, she drives. She puts that one up uh, just off the mark. Scales will come down with the rebound. Scales, floater off the mark. Fighting for the ball down there. Weidman's gonna pull it out. Now Robin's gonna bring it up quick. Dunn, near side, she drives. Finky's gonna go right up with her and knock that one down. Henderlatter will bring it up. She'll put a floater up and that'll be banked in for two. Now Finky's gonna get called for a foul as she reaches around uh, Madeline Gatliff. That'll be her second, team first. Robbins the inbound. Lob it into Dunn. Ball's gonna be tipped. Zimpleman's gonna get a hand on it. Zimpleman's gonna drive all the way. Throws that one off the glass. Douglas is gonna get the rebound though. She's going to take shots left and right. Now Finky down low. Passes the Scales. Scales is going to drive baseline. She'll go up for two and just miss that one off the mark. Didn't quite get that one high enough. Now Robbins brings it down. She's going to pull up for three. That one's just off the mark. Scales with the rebound. Deep pass down to Hinderleiter. She can't quite get that one as it just out of her reach. Lady Tigers gonna get the ball.
Comets dropping the defense clear back into the zone. It's like a 3-2 zone maybe right here from the Comets. Nope, still there 2-3. Two, 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 Finky coming up to play against Gatliff. Robbins thought about a deep three and she'll take one too many steps before putting the ball on the ground. 10, Emmy Thompson and 40, Boswell in for the Lady Tigers. Scales working against Thompson. Hinderleiter. Near side to Finky, downloaded Zimpleman. Zimpleman puts it up for two. Score now 55 to 19 with 5.30 to go. I believe that puts the Comets into a running clock situation. If my math's math, and that's 36. Now, Robbins nails a three. Little, little too late for that one as the running clock still remains. Now Zimpleman for three. That one's in. Well, if we're gonna trade punches on the outside. Gatliff can't get that one to fall. Zimpleman will pull down the rebound. She's gonna pass to Douglas. Douglas for two. That was just off the mark. Now Finky's gonna save that one as Zimpleman taps it. Now scales for three. That one's in and out. Thompson gives it to Robbins to bring up. Robbins. Gonna think about that shot. Give it to Gatliff. Shot for Boswell falls. Three point basket there. Getting a 30 second timeout here by Coach Douglas. Just over half of the fourth remains. Comets in a running clock scenario. At this point, uh, Lady Tigers really just fighting to keep the score from spreading too far. Um, and already uh, having matched their highest scoring quarter here in the fourth, so. Yeah, Lady Tigers starting to get hot here, but I think it's just a little too late for that. Well, sometimes you just look for that moral victory, I think. Yeah, I, I've, I know about moral victories. Harshall bringing it up for the Lady Comets, working against Thompson. Katie Hutzel back in for the Comets. Pass tipped by Robbins. Douglas will get it back, though. Douglas took her eyes off of that pass before she caught it. Enderleiter. Harsh. Harsh is going to drive baseline. She'll go up with it. It's going to be tipped. Hutzel with the ball. Enderleiter. Thomas for three off the mark. Hutzel puts it up for two. Robbins for three, uh, just off the mark. Hutzel's gonna get the rebound. She's gonna dribble it right into Robbins though. Now Robbins, gonna give it to Boswell. Back to Robbins. Thompson, tipped by Hutzel. Henderleiter will grab it. She's gonna slow it down. Comets 60, Tigers 25. Comets really can waste clock here. Crossing that three minute threshold. Douglas, top of the key. She's going to drive, kick it to Harsh. Hinderleiter, top of the key. Lady Tigers still playing really aggressive defense. Now Harsh, top of the key for three. Just off the mark, a little too hard. And it'll go out off the Comets. Number five, Lucy Sensel in for the Tigers. Thompson will bring it up 
for the Lady Tigers. She'll get it to Asbel. Back to Thompson. Thompson down into Gatliff. Gatliff puts that one up for two. Douglas will bring it up. Hutzel gets the pass, top of the key. She'll kick it down to Thomas down low. Harsh near corner three, way too long. Now Douglas is going to fight for that one. She'll knock it out of bounds. Lady Tigers with the ball. Minute long. 40 to go. Thompson working against this 2-3 zone. Nearly loses that. Boswell for three, just can't get that one to fall. Gatliff gets the rebound. They're fighting for it down there and it's gonna be out off of Annie Harsh. Lady Tigers retain possession. You know, a really great stall ball tactic if once you've gone running clock is knock the ball out of bounds. Yeah. You really, with the Lady Comets lead right now, they really don't even need a stall. Now they're going to get the ball back, though. 50 seconds to go. Hinderleiter gives it to Harsh. Harsh standing at the top. Thompson comes to guard. Now Hinderleiter. Hinderleiter's content to stay up top. They're going to move their offense. Thomas down low. She's going to miss that one. Hinderleiter with the rebound. That one's in and out. Ball's loose down there, Tom, Thomas with it. Now we got Harsh up top, 20 to go. And she's gonna stay at the center circle until somebody comes up to meet her. I think Lady Comet's still working their offense here. Kinda surprised, I think Hinderleiter's noticing the clock now. She's gonna try and stall up there at top. Now Harsh doesn't even need a dribble. Two, oh, she does one. get it tipped out though, Thomas. Really working there. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, your final here from Caston High School, Lady Comet 60, Lady C Tigers 27. We're gonna step away, we're gonna thank our sponsors, and then we're gonna come back with some game stats and an interview with Victoria's coach, Josh Douglas. You've been watching Lady Comet's basketball here on RTC TV.